Good morning. You want to come over? You okay? Okay. In our lessons today, we hear about how God's people had a lot of trust and a lot of faith. They had to go places that they had never been before. They had to trust that God would fulfill God's promises. And we also hear them talk about a foundation. Do any of you know what a foundation is? I know we have some builders out there, so they would tell us the foundation is the first thing that gets laid down when we're building a building. Everything else goes on top of that, and the foundation supports the weight and supports the structure that goes up. Did you guys know we have our own foundations? Our bodies have our own foundations? Did you know that? What do you think they are? Okay, stand up. Stand up. We're going to test this. All right, our foundations are our legs and our feet and something through our stomach called the core. So if you lift one leg up, everybody lift one leg up, lift it way up in the back, off the ground, you're a little bit unstable, right? Some of you might have a really good balance and a really good core. As you can see, I don't. Okay. Put your foot down, lift your other leg up. Sometimes one leg is more stable than the other. Sometimes you might need to hold out onto somebody or something. Okay, you can put your feet down. You can hold on to somebody or something to help keep you upright. You guys can sit down. So our feet and our legs and sometimes our arms and our stomachs and our whole body helps us to stay grounded. And those parts help us to have a good foundation. Well, our faith needs a foundation too. Our faith needs things to help it stay stable and safe so that it doesn't crumble. Because just like when you lift up your foot and you start to waver and you lose your balance and fall over, that can happen in our faith lives too. We can get scared. We can let all the bad stuff of the world distract us from God's love and God's promises. So some of those ways that we grow our faith and trust in God are doing what you're doing right now. You came up for the children's time. You came to church with your parents this morning. Maybe during the week you say your prayers, say blessings before meals. You tell other people about Jesus and about God's love and God's promises. You open up the Bible and read the scripture. And each of you, if you don't take communion yet, I think Davis does, the rest of you get blessings on Sunday to remind you how much God loves you and how God is always with you. So even if it feels like your faith isn't very strong and crumbling a little bit, remember that God is always with you when you're having a good day or a bad day, or maybe you're just off balance just a little bit, God is with you and God's promises will always be with you as well. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for keeping your promise. Help us to trust in you even when our foundation feels shaky. Amen. Thank you.